a look at the playback information screens on the Pentax K200D. Now when you're in playback mode you can see that you've got several different selections when you press the info button on the back of the camera. The first selection here will be where there is no information displayed on the screen. But if we press that info button, all of a sudden we start to get information about how the image was taken. On the first one we have that this is a JPEG image, folder 102, image number 0112, so it tells you what numbers you're looking at, 145th of a second, f3.5, and a reminder on your four-way controller what buttons to push in order to get to the next image. I'm going to press that info button once more, and I can see that that brings up the histogram, and this is what I call the composite or luminance histogram. This is all of the information from dark on the left to bright on the white. We see have a little spike on the bottom, on the, on the very right. That is the very white frame of the electric car over here. Also, it's showing you that this is the RGB com composite histogram, but it's showing you an up and down arrow over there. So if I press the up arrow on the four-way controller, bam, it breaks the primary colors apart, the red, green, and blue colors of the histogram showing us the original and the component colors that, when combined, turn into the composite or luminance histogram on the left over here. So it really breaks out the colors in case you needed to find out what's going on with one of those colors. I'm going to go ahead again and press the information button. Here is the super information screen here where it has really everything that's going on when you took the picture. Let's go ahead and start at the top over here. And this is the shooting style uh, mode up here where you can use the mode dial on the top and go into portrait and these different things. But this will tell you what style it was taken in. Now this was taken with a setting for kids which really pops up the color on the, on the skin tones and such. That's a little smiley face, the kid mode. But on the auto picture mode here, it was in, in the kid mode. And again, we have the folder number, the file number on the top over here, the autofocus mode over here, which is a single a mode, and then the autofocus point, which is in auto, so it's using the computer, the intelligent computer in the camera, to decide what point to focus on in the, in, in the image. It's very intelligent when it does that. Here is the uh, metering here, where we have the multi-segment uh, evaluative metering, and that really is the main mode you're going to be leaving it in here. The camera is very intelligent with knowing how to meter the image. Here's the flash mode. Flash is turned on. We shot the image at 28 millimeters on the lens on the lens itself, so you'll you'll know exactly what where the zoom was when you shot it. 145th of a second, f3.5. The anti-shaking was turned on over here, and our um, we, we see have co uh, compensation here of the exposure itself, which was set at zero, and the flash, which was also set at zero. And um, as well, we see that we have an ISO of 100. I'll let this go all around the horn here. We have an ISO over 100. It was on automatic white balance. It was a JPEG image shot at 10 megapixel size. And this is what I call the compression ratio, or the quality, how many pixels were recorded with the image here. We were in the sRGB color space mode, which is the default mode. And uh, I also want to mention the drive mode up here, single shot, this little uh, green square. And then we have the date at which the image was taken, the time at which it was taken. And let's go down on the right, bottom right column over here. This is the image toning. This allows you in the camera to shift the tonal balance of the image throughout the green and red and magenta areas to offset or sort of skew or elbow the way that the tone looks on the image for your personal preference. And it's going to show us on the bottom here how we have, how we have set the color saturation, the color tint, the color of the uh, contrast itself, and the sharpening of the image. So you'll see right here that the, say the sharpening and contrast are bumped up plus one, and that's going to result in a really nice punchy, good-looking image as well because we're in that kid mode. The colors in general are going to be punched up a little bit, and especially the uh, skin tones. So there we go, all in your information. Now all this stuff will change when you're changing settings on the camera, and some of it will go away if it's not being used, or some will come on when it's being used. But again, when you press that info button, it cycles you through these four different information screens. And remember when you're on that histogram one and you press the up button, you can break it down into the primary colors or come back to the full composite histogram. So there we go, all of the information screens available in playback on the Pentax K200D.